Okay, so here's the big mystery board. Uh, running some kind of demo that's built into the board when I found it. So just a little history on this board. Um, good morning. Um, I stumbled across this board uh, at work. They were cleaning house in the labs and they were throwing stuff out in dumpsters and whatnot and I picked this out of the trash. And um, my understanding is it's a prototype um, dev kit. It never made it to production. It was basically just for uh, for doing some prototype work and things like that. So I have yet to find any documentation on this board really that tells me how uh, you know the, the schematics or whatever to tell me just the, the basic architecture of this thing. Um, but some of the features that I can show you, let me just turn this off because I'm going to be pulling the panel here. Um, it's got a Vertex 4, I don't know if you can see that. It's a Vertex 4, uh, let's see, read it here. Uh, XC4 VLX 200. And then underneath here, it's got a Vertex 2 Pro. Let's see if I can read this. XC2 VP 100. My understanding is that guy has, and you can actually, well, you can't really see it, but has embedded PowerPC in it. I think it's the 405. Um, it's got one or two of those actually in there. And then it's got this, you know, 800 by 600 LCD display. Um, it's a composite video out, some audio out. Um, I believe that is an IDE connector here and probably a compact flash. Um, it says there, right next to the compact flash, it says V2P expansion. So I'm assuming that is the, um, I don't know, maybe expansion for the Vertex 2 Pro. And then over here on this side, uh, it says uh, the V4LX expansion. So that's probably the expansion um, for this FPGA here. So uh, down here below, there's a bunch of buttons, uh, FPGA reset and clocks and all that stuff. And I don't expect anybody to understand, you know, what all that stuff was originally designed for. Um, my concern really is, can I use this thing? Can I can I program this guy up, you know, to to play around with a little bit? I see here. Um, two ports, um, JTAG FPGA only and JTAG PROM and FPGA. So, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that if I can at least get it access to these to these uh, FPGAs, then I can start programming or whatever. I'm assuming that I would need to somehow figure out where the I.O. to all these FPGAs go to, whether they go to, you know, whatever, whatever chips, ex expansion bus. I know there's a ton of signals that go to each other. Uh, between the two FPGAs, and there's a bunch of other ICs on here. I know there's onboard RAM and all sorts of stuff. So, um, yeah. So I don't know. Any ideas are are welcome. I'm assuming I would have to. Man, it, what a chore. But I'm assuming I would have to probe this thing out to figure out how everything is stitched together um, before I can figure out how to, you know, how to utilize this thing. But um, yeah, send me your thoughts on. Uh, what I would need to program, and I'm assuming at bare minimum is figure out where the JTAG pins of these guys come out. Hopefully they come out to these two JTAG ports here, and then I can go ahead and, and start programming and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it.